Strife of the Eight. Well, what's up, rockers? Today we have a new season of Conquest. You can choose your story. <laughs> but I think it's gonna be the same story anyway. Let's make this quick. Heroic Anthem or Strife of the Eight. Now the difference in here in Heroic Anthem, you have four camps. Now in here, you will have eight camps. Looking at the Heroic Anthem, you can see Fire, Earth, Wind, and Water camp. Now if you look into the Strife of the Eight, of course it says eight. You go to the camp system, there's Fire, Earth, Wind, Water, Camp Greenwood, they kind of flip things in here, kind of mess my rhythm in here. Camp Daybreak, Camp Midnight, Camp Thunderbolt. <laughs> Rise of Kingdoms running out of elements in here. Why not Thunder Camp or Cat Camp or Dog Camp or I don't know. Now, the reward system in here is still going to be the same. Let's take a look at the differences in here. Coalition system. All the information is pretty much the same. Let's go into the heroic anthem. Go to rules. Uh, do we see anything different in here? Nothing is different. I don't see anything different in here. I. Okay, so let's take a look. Um, oh, you see what? Something different in here? In the strife of the eight, it seems like there is no fog. Oh, quite interesting. You can see in here, there's fog. And support skill, favor, and going back in here, um, there's no support skill. Interesting. This is quite intriguing. No support skill. I don't know if I like this, honestly. The support skill is pretty nice. But you know what? The support skill really just benefits a lot of the... Um, the uh, you know, the whales as well, because they're able to get all this, you know, bastions right away and level them up and get them. But I think the free-to-play can also get them. I'm not sure how difficult it is for the free-to-plays to get the bastions. Any free-to-play watching right now, let me know. How difficult is it to get your bastion to level 6? Quick, let me know. Be pay to wins. Don't really know how to, you know, what it really feels like. And uh, honestly, I don't know because I upgraded my um, research tech right away. And uh, I've been getting a lot of favors and I've been getting a lot of, uh, um, what is that called? Um, the crystals as well. And the biggest thing in here is that I'm able to train troops, which gives me a lot of favors by training troops. And when, you know, they push those quests for us to keep training. And I think it's really hurting the free to place in here. I think what Rise of Kingdoms need to do is they need to... Um, change the uh, quest and give more favors by doing these simple tasks so that our free-to-play can enjoy as well um besides that i don't see anything different in here there's really no hype in here in my opinion i don't really like the eight um you know eight camps in here you know what this mean eight camps right eight freaking camps once you get into the freaking middle with your eight camps hypothetically every everybody gets in right hypothetically um or at least maybe half of that right it's gonna gonna be still like really really laggy. So I'm gonna call this laggy KVK season. You don't want this. I don't know. I don't want this. I don't want this. Is I don't know. I just feel like this is gonna be a really laggy KVK one. But um, you know, let me know what you think. I have my own personal opinion. The shop is pretty much the same. You know, same story, same story. You're still going to get your crystals and progress but anyway rockers let me know what you think i'll see you again next time